Hello, I'm Robert and in this tutorial I want to show you how to do pickable coins. This also applies to power-ups and to any kind of pickable or collectible you can think of. So this is probably very useful for maybe like an RPG or a platformer. So I did a third person template and what I'm going to do now, by the way with star content, and what I'm going to do now is a material for our coin, which I'm going to call M coin. And this is this will be very simple, just an emissive material. I want to make this bigger. And I want you to make a three value parameter, so just press three on your keyboard and click anywhere. And I want you to make this yellow, although I guess you can do whatever color you want. And I want you to make it look something like this. And I'm going to multiply this create another parameter this time since it's only one value just press 1 in the keyboard instead of 3 like I did with the yellow and I'm going to make a value of 3 that should work fine and plug this into the emissive and now you want to apply this and it should work uh, it might be way too bright actually so let's try 2.5 let's apply that Uh, that's better and now what I'm going to do is actually I should have done that in the content doesn't matter I'm going to make an actor and I'm going to call this coin I'm going to open this up and I'm going to create I'm going to get a cylinder I'm going to rotate this on the Y 90 degrees and I want to scale this on the Z to 0 0.1 so we make it thinner and that's actually a pretty good size. Actually, maybe reduce this a little bit, just like that. And I want to search for my coin material. And now what I'm going to do is actually, I think we're done. Oh, never mind. We actually need a box collision. So we'll just look for box collision. And that's look, this is fine, although I, I would probably do it a bit bigger just in case, so maybe by two. Now I want to go into the event graph and actually, well, we'll get the cylinder. And I want to make it so that it rotates. So what I want to do is get relative rotation and also set relative rotation. And I want to split the struct pin in both sides. And I'm going to, well, first of all, um, it seems to be the x axis that we have to rotate this on. So we're going to grab the y and the z and just plug those in. And for the x, I'm going to add uh per frame maybe two degrees that might be too fast i don't know honestly i want to connect this to the event tick and i want to compile and before we see how it works i want to go into the third person blueprint and i am going to create a variable and this is going to be called coins and i want to make this an integer or actually a flow, it doesn't really matter. And I want to ma make an event tick. And print string. And we want to print the value of the coins. So just grab this and plug that in. Actually, we need a convert node. There we go. And for the we're actually going to plug in the delta seconds of the event tick to the duration. Basically, so we only see one text um, per frame. Because if not, there's like a lot loads of text around here and it's kind of messy. So we're obviously not done. But I do want to see how this works. See if the coin should have any changes in the rotation or something like that. So let's play. 
and it seems like it has a pretty good rotation and a good material and everything and as you can see there's like a blue zero in the corner and what I'm going to do now is basically when I overlap on the coin I want to add one coin every time so to do that we have to go into the coin um, event graph and I'm going to select the box and add event for box collision add on component begin overlap and actually before I forget click on cylinder and we want to look for collision which is over here and we want to set this to no collision and now what we're going to do is well first of all when it collides we obviously want to destroy the actor but this has to be the last thing because if we do this before uh, the rest of the code over here will not work so this has to be last so you might want to play some sounds or something so let's play sound 2d and honestly I can't really found anything that fits well so just add an explosion or something might be a bit dramatic but who kn well whatever and also what we want to do is um, we want to do get a cast to third person character and the object will be the get player pawn and if you have a different project um, different to mine and you have like a yellow warning over here uh, get player pawn is not the thing you need you need a different thing uh, because it's an error pretty much and now what we want to do is remember that we made a um, variable in a third person character which is called coins so what I'm going to do is get coins out of the as third person character and set coins and we should actually probably also do a variable for the value of our coin which will be one just in case you want to change it so just name this coin actually it should have been value now that I think about it oh well so just compile and type in one or whatever value you desire and I'm going to add a float plus float and just plug in the coin oops there we go so I'm going to compile play and now uh, makes when I um, oh and when I <laughs> when I crack I geez when I overlap with the coin sorry I couldn't re uh, remember the name uh, we'll add a one to those zeros which is the number of coins our player have so just by doing that you can see that it added a number so this is all for this tutorial if you find it useful make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any questions or anything make sure to comment down below thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye